2TC is an achievement in Balloon's Tower Defense 6 where you need to complete an entire chimps game placing down just two towers. We are using the Perma Charge and the Ultra Boost. And no, sentries do not count as towers themselves. They are sub towers slash mini towers slash not. They are part of the main core of said tower in which it is associated with. Okay, we're going to place the engineer over here so that it can decamify balloons as soon as possible. But also, this could be a very important spot when it comes to providing chip damage to ceramic balloons so that then our engineer here can finish them off. Unlike most other 2TC runs, the hardest aspect of this entire run, I would say, is in the high 40s and early slash mid 50s, when our boomerang here is still a wee little turbocharge. But when it's a perma charge, it's pretty much game and over, Unless, of course, you place your cleansing foam away off the track, and um, why would you? Also, round 78 requires a bit of microing with the foam itself to um, get all of those camo ceramics. We need to think about that cleansing foam at some point, otherwise we will not be able to decamify the camo balloons. Here's cleansing foam. Also works on regrow balloons, so if you have a regrow issue, then... Um, it can provide some respite for that, but let's say on round 76, it's not going to be able to do de regrowify all of those camo regrows just because there's so many of them. From update 43 onwards, it should be slightly easier to go through round 78 and de camofying all of the ceramics because of the fact that the overclocks cleansing foam has received a pierce buff to it, which is pretty good. That's not just a knife. That's a bionic boomerang throwing arm that throws knives. Also, when we get to like round 99, unlike Crossbow Master and Ultra Boost, um, but the fortified DTs are not going to be a constant target switching slog. Okay, I think it's time to get our sentry guns online because, well, we're going to need every little bit of firepower that we can get. Although they could be a hindrance in some ways of being able to um, remove the layers of a balloon too fast. So then they will multiply and because they, um, when they downgrade, they turn into multiple balloons. And um, you get the gist, this thing only has so much pierce and it's not a good amount of pierce as well. It's not like a, a Moa Glaives or a... Or even like a Moa Press, really, where we have plenty of more pierce in the middle part. But Perma Charge, it just fires that fast. That pierce is not a huge factor whatsoever. Here is Turbo Charge Online. Now, in the 40s and 50s, the use of Turbo Charge is incredibly important. You don't want to use it too late within a round because you won't have it ready for the next round. But then you don't want to use it too early because you won't be able to get through the current round. But I would say the latter, as in not using it, is far more important than using it too late and then going to the next round. You can't go for that round and then needing to restart the entire run because of the fact that you don't have turbocharge ready for what would be an impossible foe. Round 39, let's see now. Our next objective is not overclocked, despite the fact that it's cheaper. Our next objective is permacharge, because there's no way this thing can survive three waves of ceramics on round 63. Moab, take it down, please. Can we do it? Oh, just about. That was really close. So round 50 is definitely going to be a bit of a challenge. And also other rounds around that area as well. Remove the regrow of the rainbows. Remove the camo of the rainbows. Round 42 is just literally rainbows with different properties. Besides the fortified layer. Because there's no such thing as a fortified rainbow. Not wanting to use the ability. Don't want to use it. Do not want to use it. It's a waste. We don't need to use it. I guarantee you that we do not want to use it okay but yeah i think this is definitely the starting point where we have to use it but if i use it too no i use it too early in the round 
Let's just use it right off the bat, and then we can just have enough time. Oh, no, 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 no. Need to use it even earlier. Yeah, that's the earliest that I can use it. And placing it on last means that the turbo charges, well, a little bit of time because of the balloons that went down through the other portion of the map on the right-hand side here. Up, uh, sorry, round 44. I was going to say update 44. There's no mer monkey yet. And is that going to be too TC-able? Unlike the, the, uh, the most recent hero to the game, Rosalia, who is, well, unless you have more starting cash and therefore be able to get to other towers, which is otherwise inaccessible in round six, um, is impossible for a 2TC. Now it's round 45. Yeah, we're going to need to use an ability on round 45 here. Let's use it as early as possible again so that then we have time for it to come back and hopefully it'll be ready for round 46. Yeah, this ability needs to be constantly um, as ready as possible for the next round. Let's see. Fortified ceramics, no problems. The engineer softens them up while the boomerang finishes them off now the other ceramics here very contemplating about needing to use an ability here which is looking to be the case okay let's use it as early as possible again hopefully you'll be able to get the ability back around 48 ability back and ready let's see let's just Let's just look at the situation at hand. Yeah, we need to use it after or just before the purples have completely disappeared off the map. What about when the first rainbow appears near us? I don't think so. I think we need to use it when the ceramics arrive. A wife <laughs> arrived. This is looking not promise. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness sakes. Yeah, that was extremely close. So, perhaps just a tad bit later, that would be safe. Okay, let's use it now. Let's go to first and have ourselves a good old jolly time here. Not jolly. Yes, jolly. Yes, jolly. Yes, Jolly, yes, look at that. It's almost ready and active for this round, which we got. Could have definitely needed for this round just by looking and everything. But again, we want to look at this situation at hand to see when it's best going to be used. Hopefully that should do it. No, there's still, is there a few regrows? Uh, no, there's no regrows actually. Is this one? Yeah, this has to be the one. Excellent. Okay, so use it when the ceramics are quite late into the round. And then when the uh, the rainbows start appearing, the regrow rainbows, that's when you need to use it. Okay, this is a toss-up between using it uh, later on. At, yeah, we need to use it just a tad bit later on so that the turbocharge starts working on the second mode, but not finishing it off, I feel like. Because this is just a little bit too... Why were you turrets facing away from the pink balloon? Never ever underestimate my stupidity at this game. We need to use a tad bit later here, the T-charge ability. And can we do it? Oh, we used a little bit of the ability there. That's perfect, actually. Hopefully this can last. Hopefully this can last. Hopefully the zebra balloons are still a little bit worrying for me. Yeah, we just got such a severe lack amount of pierce here. Round 51 should be free, in a way, hopefully. Oh, gosh, this might not be as free as I thought, actually, just because of everything going on. Okay, this is kind of good. Some, this, oh, I wish that blue balloon was still up there for a little bit longer, honestly. Oh, this turbocharge ability just takes so long and it lasts for such a short amount of time. It's so bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. I kind of need you to just hold out for a little bit longer. I don't want to pop all of these Moabs. That's the thing.
This might be promising. This might be promising. Yeah, this could be promising, actually, actually. <laughs> yeah, these mid-rounds, not cool whatsoever. We should be able to do this if we time ourselves correctly here. Like, we've got a good opportunity presented to us in front of us, actually. But it's just when to use our ability, and I don't think this is optimal timing to use it. Um... No, no, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to unleash it as soon as I possibly can. What about just last in general? Let's just see how this goes along. Place one. No, oh, no, no, no. That's not good enough. That's... Oh, there's a blue balloon back there, though. Hopefully, this can... There's a red balloon. There's a red balloon. Oh, thank goodness for that, actually. I'm quite happy with that one, to be honest. But there's all, all these ceramics. Oh, uh, come on, please. I need the ability back. Why do you take so long? I know it's only 40, 45 seconds, but for goodness sakes. Oh, gosh. This is a restart, isn't it? I know they say third time's a charm, but I hope that the first time was the only time I needed to reset a run. Okay, we're back to this position here. We've got much better footing this time around. Let's get our turbo charge up and running here, please. And use it slightly. Oh, just a tad bit later on in the round there. Just a tad bit later. That's all we need. A tad bit later. I think anyways. Put you on strong. Put you back on first. Uh, I think so. there's still too many ceramics here. But I'd rather have ability that is... Um, well, I'd rather have some flexibility with my ability timing, honestly. <laughs> than the latter.
Oh, that's good. Round 55, 55. Come on now. We can do this. We can do this. Let's use the turbo charge now. Hopefully I'm, it's good for that moment there. Oh, no. We, oh, we've got room to spare here as well. Just looking at that. Look at that. We can actually use it slightly later and be able to deal with the, uh, the ceramic threats here. That there is that okay? There's still a lot of targets left, though. Oh, nah. Perhaps I need to change my targeting priority here, honestly. Possibly. Hmm. Very hit and miss moment going on here. And nah. Okay, we've got one chance at this. Okay, perhaps not. Do we? Do we have a chance? That is the question. Do we have a chance or is this another reset? Oh, uh, gosh, look at this. This is so annoying. Look at this. Look at No, no, no. Come on. Another reset. Dear Ninja Kiwi, what did the Turbo Charge do to deserve such a stupid nerf to its ability cooldown from 40 seconds to 45 seconds? Come on. Yes. Come on. Oh, gosh. Please let this be the one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been at this for far too long. Please let me have further charge. Come on, please. I'm at 500k away. <laughs> if this, please let me have it. You've got to be kidding me! Oh my god, and I used to have a charge of our Shrouded Ninja Kiwi designs a game so that certain abilities aren't active. Oh. Come off the game. Oh, will these sentries do something? It's like they don't do anything, they just watch with balloons just go by and not even shoot what's supposed to be inside. Um, oh, I'm sorry for sounding negative. This, this entire session has eaten up so much hard drive space. Oh, please, no. You're gonna. Oh, come on. Yes, turbocharge, please do something. Finally, I've never been so happy to click a button in the game. 
Oh, that's such a huge sign of relief. Oh, gosh. It's taken so long to grab them out. Oh, I've never felt so defeated, but also happy in my life. <laughs> I like all of the things I've done in this game. Oh, I know I sound petty and all that. I've just spent here with so much footage I can't fucking use. I know I swore there. <laughs> Come on, Purple Charge. At least you're not bloody Turbo Charge anymore. Oh, thanks so much, you stupid tier 4 tower for being so goddamn crap! Round 62. I've never been so happy to get off round 55 of all rounds. I've been round 56 as well. Oh, round 63. I don't want to show the full thing, but I know people are going to be so utterly cryptic and stupid and pedantic and they want the full VOD and everything like that, otherwise it's like, Oh, you're cheating at this run if we don't show the unedited run and all that. You're supposed to treat this stuff like a stream where everything has to be visible so we can see every single run that you've done. The thing about this run is that, as you can see, this is not like a, a new challenge. I've done this. That's what's so infuriating. Because I just wanted to try this to see if I can actually possibly do this. And let me tell you what. Round 55 and 56 for me, through that trial and error, was nowhere near as painful as... This time around, why is it that when I record something, it's ten times harder? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, that's that's it. That's it, rant over. We are on the home straight now. Once you get perma charge, it is pretty much game over for the balloons here. All we're gonna do now is save up for ultra boost and victory is ours. But let me tell you what, folks. If you want a stupid challenge to try and do, try and just try and and i've said it twice try and go through a scenario like this where the sole majority of your pops is with the turbocharge ability i'm saying this right now the ability not the default attack the ability and i promise you that you as a person will suffer so much like i have now <sighs> But perma charge is just far better. It's like a permanent turbo charge, but just better, outright better. And then perma charge on top of that is even more lethal with more attack speed. Uh, so many close encounters as well. Like I had one run where it was almost flawless on round 55, and I only had like red balloons and green balloons, but yet like. Two black balloons spawned right behind the green blue. And I know that it's just probably how the layering on this game works. Like, the smaller balloons, like, size-wise, are always behind the bigger balloons. But surely there's some kind of priority that needs to be set so that for visual feedback to the player, surely the bigger threats have to appear first. But then again, when it comes to, like bads and ddts then surely want the smaller objects to be in front and that's precisely the point moab wants the smaller balloons appear in the from uh, appear in front of the bigger balloons but yet when it comes to the little balloons themselves it's almost like the priorities of okay i've got to um do a little bit of migraine of this round because of the uh, cleansing foam luckily in update 43 the cleansing foam itself has received a buff when you upgrade to overclock. Okay, put you up there. And you should be good. Okay, put you over there. Thank goodness for that. Like, this is a little bit easier nowadays to micro the cleansing foam because of the fact that it has had an increase in pierce once you go up to overclock. Like, when Ultra Boost had its um, duration increase on, like, tier 5 towers... Uh, it also received a big uh, pierce buff with the foam. 
but it never went to the overclock itself in update 43. I think Ninja Kiwi realized that. Whew, that's a deadly knife if I've ever seen one. Round 80, round 80, zero MG. I have never been so happy to see a zero MG. In fact, I was, I was so happy to see the BFB when we went through that scenario. I'm just going to title this video like, uh, Mid 50s are absolute pain. <laughs> <laughs> because it literally is oh gosh like as you saw with the challenge editor sort of thing i managed to do this and it's like i didn't record it because well i just want to test myself to see if i could actually do it and when i'm not recording failures are usually not a big old bane because it feels like i'm just playing this casually rather than trying to put a video together i hope you can understand what i mean but I promise you that these last 20 rounds will not be painful whatsoever. Not like the Crossbow Master and Ultra Boost, which I'm still very proud of accomplishing to this day. The only person ever to have done that, or at least the only person to have a Balloons Tower Defense 6 index record of, of crossbow master and ultra boost and at that given point in time i believe i had a monopoly of ultra boost with a primary tower in a two tower chimps now there's also uh, obviously this challenge has already already been completed the glaive lord and inferno rain those are two, those are the four primary towers that have been able to be successfully paired with uh, ultra boost I do wonder if um, overclock is possible because this has got a pretty high rate of fire anyways. But then again, you're missing out on A, the uptime with Ultra Boost and B, um, the additional stacks that come with the Ultra Boost itself. So we're on round 85 now. Things are going very well now. My sanity has once again been restored, but I will definitely be... Um, I'll, I'll definitely be uh, having Vietnam flash or start Vietnam style flashbacks when uh, recording the tales of this particular endeavor. And my strategy is just my strategy of this particular run is just one thing: don't use turbocharge unless you have to, and if you have to, use it as early on in the round as you physically possibly can, because you may need it. For the next round <laughs> that's in the turbo charge phase turbo charge well <laughs> yeah even more lethality and it definitely comes to show although i think for round 95 we need to be a bit careful of our uh, ultra boost foam here because this definitely needs to be what you would call on the um buff by itself phase but obviously unlike over sorry unlike crossbow master and ultra boost we're not going to be buffing this 10 times as well because all of them need to be put onto this and obviously um perma charge is more expensive than uh crossbow master so um we don't have the wiggle room there but for goodness sakes for those earlier rounds on like the 50s crossbow master is definitely easier than freaking turbo charge round 88 lovely yeah, so if this was a stream, I think I'd actually be a bit more relaxed because I'm not trying to compile together a video, but it would just be me and you live watching the pain together. Because this for me is like I'm experiencing the pain alone, but then you probably experience the pain, well, definitely experience the pain later on while watching it. And some of you smacking your foreheads on the keyboard or on the desk thinking, well, why didn't you do it like this? Or why didn't you do it like that? simple reason i'm learning just as much as um anybody else who is not um who is not the point oh 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 one percent who can just do anything of this game without needing any practice around 91 let's put you on last actually so that you're sort of targeting some of the bfbs at the very back here yeah round 91 is very interesting because of all of the super fortified ceramics not cool whatsoever but then again, we can fire enough um, boomerangs to ensure that they can all be eradicated. This is one of the best, most round, well-rounded towers in the entire game. 
either ceramics or moabs this is a very good against them i'm not gonna use actually i'm gonna use the perma charge just to a little be a, do a little bit of clearance here but i'm not gonna be using overclock because i really want to use it when we freshly get ultra boost if you get my drift there Okay, but you're strong just for a little bit, just to accelerate the poppage of these balloons. And um, I need you over here, please, man, for the DDTs. Uh, you cannot do this without the cleansing foam, let's just say that. Every single very powerful tower has a very powerful means of support. Okay, let's use a perma, no, sorry, perma charge here, just to... Uh, do a little bit of poppage 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 there we go ultra boost let's just buff you straight away let's see how many buffs we can put on this with the ultra boost before we need to just immediately divert to a times one ultra boost while under the over sorry the ultra boost at overclock aspect sorry the overclock aspect being the uh, the spanner without the time symbol by it Round 94, going very, very well here, as expected. Let's get another one on board. Really want to... I think we can get another one, but I'm honestly thinking that perhaps we should lay off. But at the same time, I think we could possibly do this, hopefully. Hopefully, Ultra Boost, Ultra Boost, Ultra Boost, Ultra Boost. I'm keeping my eye on you. Oh, that BFB is looking very... Yeah, that BFB is going to ensure that we can get that... Oh. Well, we're on a bit of a cooldown, aren't we? Okay, round 95. Use you straight away! <laughs> also, I remembered watching the video of the original OG of this, where... um. Essentially, the user had to just put the foam all over the place because back then the foam was much worse when it comes to its pierce. Uh, clicked the wrong button there, but you know what? That's absolutely fine. This is not critical now. Using perma charge is not going to be a life or death scenario where I have to constantly think about like the next round ahead of me because, well, this is just so damn powerful. Especially with the fact we've got times six ultra boost so far. <laughs> uh, you fear me no longer, balloons. For you will fear me. And this particular video will be complete. Go to first. Go to their times eight ultra boost now. <laughs> Once you have both towers, it's pretty much sorted. Round 97 with the ZOMGs involved. Okay, let's just use that. Goodness sakes, we need that. We most certainly need that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, we need all of the firepower that we can possibly possess in order to get through this scenario. And yes, I've just turned into Uncle Ruckus here. How dare you present to me round 55 and 56 on my lawn when they are so utterly stupid with an utterly stupid tower at that given point in time. But look at what we're doing here to the rest of these fellows. We are absolutely mincemeat of them now, now that we have an actually good tower at our disposal here. Let us use the last of our ultra boosts in order to get through this scenario. Gonna switch arms so that they swing towards the right instead. Hopefully get some of these BFBs. And there we go. Round 99 is gonna be very simple. Look at these fortified DDTs go into absolute mids. Round 100. And then we're gonna be using our beloved uh, perma charge ability when it comes in full range. I know we could use it there, but there is some potential opportunity that will be missed there. And now let's use it. <laughs> Thousands of pops every single second. And sometimes the boomerangs themselves are not even in the. Oh my god, I gotta move my foam! <laughs> oh my god, I almost. I almost flopped that because I did not micro the foam there. Oh dear. That. After 56. After purchasing Permacharge 
was worth it. Was it worth it through the three and a half hours of absolutely useless footage? Because they were all stuck on pretty much like two or three of the same rounds? No, not at all. Oh, uh, gosh. So, mid-game permacharge is possible. Would I recommend doing it, though? Unless you don't like your sanity... <laughs> then I say no. Don't do it if you like your sanity. If you don't, then give it a well. I promise you, you're going to have a fun time. And possibly a few years lost on your life. So, there we go, folks. I have completed the 2TC Permacharge and Ultra Boost scenario. Why can't I just um, do this challenge on my first try of trying to do it rather than doing it then recording it and having a much more troublesome time i don't know don't ask me these questions i am not the one who runs this channel i obviously am by the way <laughs> it's just my manager who is myself who tells me what to do i am my own manager i'm like a sole trader Anyways, I've kept you here for long enough. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to rinse my eyes out with some bleach. 